What's up guys, and oh god, what a bad start to a video. Um, level 100 Agron here. Today, uh, I thought I'd show you guys how to get the Berserker Blade, as well as the Berserker Armor. Um, since it's not clearly shown where or how you go about getting it, and it is pretty vague to find. So, for starters, let me throw this on real quick like, um, where are they? It's down here in these weird items, isn't it? Yeah. So, to start off, uh, you need this NPC right here to spawn. Uh, now, I don't know if specifically he only spawns in New Game Plus or not. Uh, my first playthrough, I used a bonfire aesthetic up here just to be on the safe side. And he spawned eventually. Now, the thing is, the catch is, I have heard talk that you need to be in the Bellkeeper Covenant, the Bell Buddies. So, I would say, if you want to get his armor and his weapons, just join the Bell Keepers to be on the safe side to guarantee that you're not up here looking for him forever to, you know, and waste time. Uh, <clears throat> now, he is pretty uh, hard to get to spawn. It's, it's a pretty low spawn rate. It's pretty obnoxious. And then his items do have a really bad drop rate. So, uh, when you come up here to fight this guy, you're going to want Covetous Gold Serpent Ring, obviously plus two, I only have plus one right now. Uh, Prisoner Tatters, I believe this raises item discovery. Uh, the Jester's Cap raises item discovery. Let me see if I have Prisoner Gloves or something. <coughs> something, excuse me. I'm kind of a uh, little junked up in the head right now. Something that raises item discovery for gloves, though. Increases number of souls, that's kind of useless. We need item discovery, item discovery, item discovery, increases pyromancy, item discovery. Okay, no item discovery there. Um, any item discovery for the pants? Reduces fall damage, equip load, casting. Blah, 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 number of souls, blah, 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 um, yeah, fall damage, <coughs> excuse me, uh, so, it looks like I've got as much item discovery on it as I can possibly have, so we'll just go ahead and fight him and see if we get an item, uh, and I'll show you guys the few pieces of armor from him that I do currently have. Uh, it is pretty hard to get his stuff, though. Like I said, low drop rate makes it really obnoxious. I'm gonna just wait till he closes the gap. I really don't like going over there to fight, because sometimes you can aggro NPCs over there. Uh, and there's usually a guy over there with a great shield and a great sword. Uh, but I believe that I killed him already, so I don't have to worry about him, I'm just playing it safe. No, sir! We want him to flask. Now he always goes for the stab after he does most of his attacks, so that is uh, food for thought, something to make note of. Okay, so he didn't drop it this time. Uh, I don't know how many times you can kill him before he despawns altogether, but uh, let me show you guys what I have for him, from him so far. I'm still working on getting his his swords. I really wanted the Berserker Blade. Um, it is in here as the Mad Armor, I believe. Executioner, Smelter Demon, Penal, Kale, Mad Warrior Chest, and Mad Warrior Gloves. They should be, like, right up there. So, it looks really cool. The helmet actually reminds me of a Predator. Um, the stuff is pretty heavy, but uh, maybe I'll do something with it. I'll, I'll Maybe I'll do some cause PvP, uh, invading as the Berserker or something. But anyways, uh, I hope this was semi-helpful to you guys. Just make sure that you note when you uh, come up here, you are susceptible to invasions. I currently am in offline mode as my internet shit out on me today, and we paid the internet bill and they didn't restore our internet service. Um, so I lucked out today. <coughs> uh, you are susceptible to being invaded up here. Uh, there will be an NPC... That stands about here and he will rush you as soon as you are visible through that door there's usually a witch that stands right here and then there's one more little dwarf guy right here 
uh, and then another one over there that I suggest killing as well. Uh, also note that when you use the bonfire ascetic, um, <coughs> oh god, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Ugh. When you use the bonfire ascetic, it will reset all enemies and items here and move it up one new game. So if you're on new game clean, you're on a clean new game, it'll go up to new game plus. <coughs> Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Jesus, my allergies are killing me right now. Uh, and when you go to new game, enemies will respawn. All items will respawn, so it is suggested that you... <coughs> Ouch. Sorry, this is awful. That you collect all items in the area and kill any NPCs that you know will drop items here. So anyways... I'm level 100 Agron. I hope that helped out a little bit. And I love you all. And Big Bobby Sandwich and Blue. You fuck with me, I'ma hit you with that. Wax on, wax off. Yo, Sensei, please teach me how to control the flames in my mouth. I'm Firebender. Strongest in the rap game, muscle rider. TGS, be my one, two, tomorrow.